this video, uh, we will learn to make uh, this animation of a vehicle uh, being driven in the road. Yeah. The road is basically the number line itself, it's already there. Uh, we will learn to make the wheel, the spokes, and this carriers. Okay. Uh, let me open a new dismiss file. Yeah. And let me also make uh, this reverse contrast. Fine. Now, uh, we will start with the circle. Yeah. Uh, okay, so for that uh, we know the equation of circle x minus x whole square plus y minus k whole square is equals to r square. This gives us a circle, and if we move uh, the center is x comma k. Yeah. So if we move the x coordinate of the center, uh, this circle will basically go left to right. Yeah. So we already have a moving circle though and if we move the k this will go up to down yeah so for this purpose uh, we will just put k as one and uh, that's fixed and we will move the ads uh, to move the circle okay so now uh, we also need the spokes over here yeah basically the spokes uh, like make a good tire so for that uh, notice that the spokes uh, uh, should always pass from the center of circle which is s comma k and uh, depending on the m we can have spokes of different tilt yeah basically uh, one of them tilted like this and this and this so basically what we will do is we will try to vary m and then uh, make the spokes which pass through the center as comma k and we know that uh, we know that if a line has slope m and passes through as comma k uh, its equation will be uh, y minus k is equals to m times x minus h. Yeah, that's why we will uh, write the line as m x minus h plus k. Yeah, so uh, let's do that. Let's uh, write y equals to m x minus h plus k. Okay, so we have this line. And depending on the m the line is going to rotate yeah basically uh, this is a slope infinity okay no it's 10 but if it was straight that's it would be infinity and here's at 45 degree uh, the slope is 1 and at 0 degree the slope is 0 it might okay slope is 0 at minus 45 the slope is minus 1 and similarly minus 2 minus 3 and goes and goes and goes and up to increasing up to minus infinity yeah so depending on the slope uh, the spokes can be uh, the angle of the spoke can be changed yeah now uh, if you want to make three spokes we can basically assign three different m values yeah now uh, let us say m equals to tan theta yeah and uh, uh, let us assign theta as 1 radian, 2 radian, and 3 radian. Yeah. And uh, let, let us remove this uh, M holder. Okay. So now uh, what happens is so basically D has 3 values 1 radian, 2 radian, and 3 radian. And corresponding to these 3 angles, the 3 slopes will be generated by dismiss. And corresponding to those 3 slopes, uh, we will have 3 lines. So these 3 lines basically have angles of 1 radian, 2 radian and 3 radian yeah and now uh, okay so now if we want to make uh, these spokes just in circle because they are going outside yeah and that doesn't really look nice so if you want to make this limited to the circle uh, first of all uh, we need to find the x coordinate of these two points yeah of these two points and then uh, after if we find the x coordinate of these two points, we can uh, over here put a constraint that x should be between those two values. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, uh, let us see how can we like solve for these intersecting points of the circle and the line. Yeah. So for this, we need to solve two equations of the circle and the line. Yeah. And then we will be able to find. So let me show in the uh, whiteboard itself. So basically, what we want to find is we have a circle and a line and we want to find these two coordinates yeah and after fi after finding those two coordinates uh, we will restrict the 
uh, x values between those two values. Okay, let's see first. So we know that this circle is x minus s whole square plus y minus k whole square is equals to r square. And this line is uh, y equals to m times x minus s plus k. Now if we solve these two equations, let us first, we can substitute y over here. That gives us x minus s whole square plus uh, k cancels out m times x minus s whole square is equals to r square. Now take the x minus s whole square common. We have 1 plus m square is equals to r square. After that we have x minus s whole square is equals to r square by 1 plus m square. That gives us x minus s is equals to plus minus r by root under 1 plus m square and that gives us uh, those two points are basically uh, these two points x equal sorry uh, I'm sorry here first okay so basically x oh, just a second just a second I hope it don't matter yeah now we base we are basically finding the two x um, coordinates okay fine now uh, x is basically plus minus r by root under 1 plus m square plus h yeah there are two points one of the point will uh, uh, denote this one other will denote this one yeah so now uh, we will try to uh, restrict the x coordinate yeah of this line between these two points yeah. Uh, yeah so basically i think since uh, it's towards the left side uh, this one is the one with minus sign i guess and this is the one with plus sign i guess yeah and if x coordinate is restricted between these two points uh, we will just get uh, this line so le let's do that uh, for this line and uh, this is for the restriction for this line uh, let us restrict the x coordinate uh, between mm, um, okay so less than r uh, by uh, square root 1 plus m square plus h yeah this one has the bigger value now it should be greater than the smaller value smaller value as minus r uh, by uh, square root 1 plus m square plus h okay fine fine now we have the circle and the spokes yeah okay now we, we the, the nicer thing is because the m there are three different m values and like it 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 calculates all of the the condition for all three lines by itself we don't need to like really go into the depth of the points and their intersections anything else else just give the equations the best best will do its work so that that's a nicer thing so now uh, let's try to move this yeah okay so now still like it doesn't really seem like the tire is moving yeah because if the spokes would rotate only then the tire would seem like moving but now like it doesn't really seem like that so for that uh, what we can do is we can also change this angle of the spokes with h value L let's do that 1 plus h 2 plus h 3 plus h okay so now the angles of his spoke will change with h value. Now let's see what happens. Mmm, nice, 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 nice. Okay, so you see, now it, it, it does seem like it's moving. Yeah. Okay. So now what to do next? Mm. The next thing that we might want to do is, um, since the vehicle like, cannot be made from a single tire, we need to have another tire too, yes. So for that let's create another circle too. Control A, Control C, Control N. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I should press Enter. Control B. And uh, for now let us say we have the center as H plus 3. Yeah, now I, send, I, I change the center. The height of the center is same but the x coordinate of the center is now 
at plus 3. Yeah. So basically, if one of them has 0, other has center as 3. Yeah. And then, uh, if I uh, change this uh, to as plus 3, I also need to change the spokes. Yeah, the center of the spokes as well. Let me copy this equation. Control A, Control C. And let me press enter. And also, uh, here, everywhere, let me make it add S plus 3. S plus 3. And also, the center of the new spokes will be S plus 3. You see, we have now got uh, the other circle. Because we have already done the stops, so uh, it was easier for us to generate a new uh, tire. Now let's see. Ah, it look good. Now we need to have uh, a box like this. Yeah. So for that, uh, we can we need to create this line. This line joining the top of both the circles. Yeah. And like, what's the equation of this line? So basically, uh, this is y equals to this height two. Yeah. But uh, but we don't really say two because that that will not work when radius is increasing. Yeah. If we increases then it will not work so for that to address that thing what we can do is uh, let's find the equation of this line in terms of the known variables basically uh, h plus r will give us that height yeah basically if we have the center uh, the let's take it sorry the y coordinate of the center k and then if we add r to that k we will get the equation of this line yeah so let us plot y equals to k plus r to see we get the, this line but now we want to restrict the x coordinate of this line uh, between these two points let's say then on the x coordinate of the line should be uh, uh, less than what is this coordinate uh, basically s plus 3 yeah s plus 3 s plus 3 so you see it's restricted and over here let's restrict this to be greater than s so you see this is just this line but feels like you can just extend this uh, to somewhat like uh, uh, back and front yeah so just like over here we can extend this so let's do it as minus one and three plus one okay now now that looks nice okay now uh, we want to, we want the equation of the line that's going up as well yeah so we know that uh, the x coordinate of this th point is s minus one so if we plot x equals to s minus one we get that line similarly if we plot x equals to s plus three plus one we get the other line we got the, this line but we also want to restrict uh, its y coordinate to be greater than uh, this k plus r value yeah let's restrict this y coordinate to be greater than k plus r yeah similarly over here as well let's restrict the y coordinate of this line to be greater than k plus r yeah and now but also like it cannot go to infinity level so let's say its y coordinate is less than k plus 3 r or something over here yeah yeah over here the like k plus r r r uh, 3 r will be fine y coordinate of the line is less than k plus 3 r also okay i think it's which is a smaller 4 uh, okay no no that, that's too much let's say this is 3.5 r 3.5 r okay that, that that sounds nice yeah and over here also let's say it is uh, less than k plus 3.5 uh, r okay that 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 looks nice okay now we need to join these two points as well and what is the equation of this line so basically uh, x okay y equals to k plus 3.5 yeah so y equals to k plus 3.5 r and we need to restrict the x coordinate between these two points we know that this is h minus 1 this is h plus 3 plus 1 so let's restrict the x coordinate of this line to be less than s plus 3 plus 1 and to be greater than uh, s plus 3 ok fine isn't it, isn't it working greater than s oh no 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 i don't s plus 3 just, just s 
minus one. Sorry, fine. Now it's working. Yeah. Now we have uh, the trolley. Now the one thing to that remains is to shade this person. How do we shade? So basically, to to shade a person, we can use inequalities. Yeah. For inequalities, we have done the shading things. Yeah. To represent the person that it represents. So for inequality, what we can do is, if we or say that the y value should be less than this line. So th this line is basically k plus 3.5 rm. Yeah? If we say that uh, y value is less than that line, the entire downward portion will be selected, isn't it? Because the y value less than this line, the all the downward portion uh, does satisfy that. But we don't want to like set all the person. Uh, we want to want to set this person, yeah, of the trolley. Now, we'll also say that uh, it should be greater than the downward value. This is k plus r, yeah. So let let's write k plus r. So you see, now that's set it. And in this way, our uh, moving vehicle is ready to move. And yeah, it, it looks pretty good as I said in the original video. Now you can just change the color, and uh, yeah, both of them are really same now. And uh, uh, let let's move them now. I think the radius of circle is too big. I guess let me s make it slightly smaller. Now let's move it. Now let's move our vehicle. Ooh. Okay. Since the K is one, it's not. It, it seems like it's flying. So let me drop the K slightly uh, to zero. To J. Okay, no, not really zero. I think one was fine. But why did it fly? Oh, basically radius is not one. It's zero point six. So K also should be zero point six. Yeah, zero point six. Okay, now it's now it's not flying. Okay, so you see our moving vehicle is ready, and I do hope you understood all the process that we went through and we enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, like also do try to share this with your friends independently without taking the help of this video that would help you like revise the idea of how we make animations in our decimals and also uh, you can get creative with other ideas and do let us know if you are able to come up with something really amazing yeah so yeah hope you enjoyed the process uh, thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos too